welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing a quick scrub in and first ride of my brand, brand new Michelin Commanders, which you hopefully saw me install in the last video. Or not install, but you know, put back on the bike. So what we're going to do is just do a bit of scrubbing them in and tell you how they feel. And let me tell you already, and I know it's early days, but already they feel pretty damn good um, just in the few corners from where I was coming from I also have no idea where I am again I just decided to kind of strike out this road and see where it takes me so I know I thought that the Magna would be off the road but as it turned out I got the storage space sorted oh dear Yes, Magna, well done. I got the storage space sorted. I got my lift set up, if you haven't seen that. I now have plenty of work to be doing. Oh, we're right near the Kinsale. I know where we are. So really, I'll actually probably be able to work away on the Magna and still bring it for spin sometimes, which, will be, which is really, really good. So, so far, these wheels are pretty damn stable. I know from a, a kind of a wear and the grip perspective when I was doing my research the Michelin Commander really is kind of top of the class which isn't surprising coming from Michelin and the fact you know they make the Pilot Rose series of tyres that are massively celebrated by everyone from sports bike rider to you know sports touring rider and they're so much more rounded than the ones that are on it I kind of hadn't really talked about the tyres I did have on the bike um, as they were absolute, they were a travesty to be honest, they were terrible. But so far, so good, these Michelin Commanders, they feel absolutely planted, even as new tyres. Oh, that hurt. As non-scrub new tyres. And for the veterans of the channel, you'll recognise this is the first road that I rode out on the Magna when I brought it home. So, I bought this bike in Waterford. And I brought it all the way back then, I rode it all the way back to Cork. And the first place I bought it for the, you know, my kind of excitable I bought a bike video, uh, was I brought it out here. I brought it out to Kinsale. And I met up with a buddy of mine. So the only thing to kind of be cognizant of when you're, oh my god, these are so nice to flick from one side to the other. Oh, new tires just want to lean. Oh, oh, oh so nice. But yeah. <laughs> What was I even saying? Oh yeah, the only thing to kind of be aware of when you're breaking in new tires is just take it handy. You do have like that that sealant. So the reason new tires come and they look kind of kind of shinier, however you want to describe it, it's because of the sealant that's uh, used to stop the tire sticking to the the mold. And that's the stuff you kind of it's well it's double it's a double edged sword, right? It's to, it's to stop it sticking to the mold, and then some of them have like an extra thing on to stop them perishing when they're on the shelves or probably all tires of that now to be honest I'm speaking like old and old and time speak so yeah you want to just be aware of that um, because it can be slippy it, it, so if you hit some a patch of slippy road that usually you'd be fine on but when you combine it with the the slippiness of your new tire you know it, it can kind of get double slippy but these these tires are so so nice. They're they're grippy, even with the that seal on them and stuff. They're grippy. They lean in lovely. The bike it kind of it feels it feels it feels a lot happier on these tires, which is probably a silly thing to say, but it's true. They do they do feel happier. The other thing you might notice is I have my goddamn winter gloves on again. I don't know how many times I've seen these things on the channel, um, but it's really cold today. Uh, which probably means my GoPro battery will die really quick, but also it means I kind of have to dress up warmer. So I have the fleece lining back in my jacket. I forgot to put it back in my pants, so I just wore jeans under my pants. These ones. And, and yeah, I've worn these gloves, these horrible, horrible gloves. It's what I imagined the Michelin Man, and that wasn't planned, but I just realized I'm discussing Michelin tires. But yeah, I kind of imagine it's what the Michelin man feels like walking around. You know, he's always like, I'm the Michelin man. I imagine this is what his hands feel like. Just like, 
Yeah. 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 Like that. I imagine that's what he feels like. So the other thing that when you're braking in your tires that you need to be aware of is you do want to kind of get the whole working surface bedded in. So you know, don't be don't be too scared with it. If you have a good dry road like this one, uh, when you think you have your tires to heat, and if you ride a motorbike, you probably kind of have a good assumption of how long it takes you to, to, to warm up your tires. If you don't have a good assumption, I don't know, give it 10, 15 minutes normal riding. They're, they'll probably be warm. And then, you know, start actually, you know, using the corner. So for instance here, I want to get the right hand side of my tire bedded. So I just keep dropping the bike a little bit more, a little bit more. And I would have been able to go more if the car wasn't in front of me. But that's, that's kind of what I mean. So the good thing is, as you break in your tire, the section that's broken in it, it stays broken in. It doesn't go back slippy. So if you kind of think about it, right, as long as you don't go, go ham from the off, it's, uh, it's quite likely you'll be absolutely fine. Because if you think about it, right, as you, as you move, as you lean, you're always kind of using half of your broken in surface and half of your, your, your kind of sealed brand new surface. You should be transitioning uh, from working to kind of not working the whole time. And then eventually, what should happen is every time you lean, you get a little bit more of it or whatever, depending on your riding style and ability. And eventually you end up with a fully broken in working surface. Now that's really all there is to it. You just, oh, oh, the main thing when you're breaking in a tire it's just just be careful that's all and if you're brand new to riding and super nervous about breaking in a tire which you don't need to be really you don't need to be um, and you have someone who's more experienced on bikes you could always ask them to break it in for you you know it'll, it won't take them long to kind of wear off that that surface and get the tire to a good working condition and, uh, and flying on so anyone who kind of watches the channel a decent bit would know that I have been out to Kinsale before. I haven't been out here in a long time. We'll go up to Charles Fortier. Why not? Nice old U-turn for the Magna. Magna does not like U-turns. There we go. That is always difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Kinsale is a lovely spot. I, I really like Kinsale. Um, I couldn't own a house out here though because they're too goddamn expensive. I suppose like anywhere that people actually like living, it's always going to be expensive. Oh, that's a lot of leaves. Mm. I love leaves. I, I don't. That's a lie. I do not love leaves. So there you go. There's the Spaniard. Uh, if I wasn't on my own, I might stop in there for some food, but I am on my own. So I will continue to starve myself until I feel as I am deserving of some food. Thank you for that shaft drive kick. Magna, I appreciated it, it was lovely. But yeah, the Spaniard, uh, they do very good food in there, very tasty. I would, I would recommend stopping off there for a bite to eat if you're hungry. Thanks for giving me so much space. There's another really nice uh, bar pub, the Bullman. They do very good food and they also do good pints. So in there is Charles's Fort. I won't say too much about it, I'm going to go back to that overlook, it's a bit quieter. But I will go in there at some point and do a video. It's, uh, it's one of the two forts that kind of used to cover the Kinsale Harbour. There's another one across the way, you can't really see it's on top of that hill. Yeah, but that's really good, worth, well worth a visit. You have to pay in, so I'm not going to go in uh, right now. We're going to go back to that little overlook and close out this video. Magnifique. That can sail over. <laughs> oh, the Magna sounds good. Sorry, people, if you're trying to sleep. I wanted to do that so you could hear it, but now my eyes are frozen and watering a lot. 
You're welcome. So there you go. That's Kinsale. Uh, I have done videos in and around Kinsale before. I went out to Old Head, which is really cool. And uh, I did like a video going to Charles's Fort and out around. Uh, they weren't very good. They were my, some of my first videos. Uh, yeah, but we've gone away from what this video is about, which is the tires. So you can kind of see, you know, that I've actually seemed to have used a good bit of it out to maybe here. But it's that, that's all you want to do, really is just break them in um so yeah there again actually yeah they used kind of there but these were kind of grippy from the off and a lot of them are these days so these are the michelin commander twos um i will keep you updated on how they're wearing and stuff so what's on the bike now 22.599 so yeah we'll see how long they last for particularly the rear i'm usually quite heavy on rear tires uh, i wanted to sit down on that um so we will see how they work out long term, but I know for now from the off, I'm pretty happy with them. They weren't cheap by any means, but they were, the fitting was quick, ordering process was easy and stuff like that. And I'm just going to pop off the helmet and then I'll tell you where I actually ordered them from and whatnot. So I know this video has kind of turned into something it wasn't really supposed to be, uh, just kind of a, a trip as usual as well, but I am really happy with the tires. Uh, I bought them. Uh, from Ross's Motorcycles in Cork City. Um, ordering was easy, you know, he kept me up to date with text and stuff. They were a good price, um, wasn't any major difference between them and Met Sellers that I priced elsewhere. Um, I, and I was a lot happier to go with the Michelins because they're Michelin, you know what I mean? Uh, Met Sellers are good, don't get me wrong, I, I would happily put Met Sellers on the, on, the, on the bike, but when the price was essentially the same between the two, I was always going to go with Michelins. Uh, the bike really needed them and there's a few other bits and pieces I found um, when I was when I was changing putting back on the wheels uh, but check out that video if you want to see that there's, there's plenty of information there I know with um, there's Kinsale again I know with the you know the garage and stuff there, there should be work happening and plenty of work happening but it's, t it's time dependent and money dependent. I can't afford to buy everything I want straight away, but just bear with me and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what the crack is. Um, we'll get stuff done anyway, don't, don't worry about that. Something I am impressed with the, the Michelins is, you know, this tread pattern, it's really, really deep and I shouldn't be surprised because again, it's Michelin, they make the pilot roads and everyone loves them. And these ones were like brand, brand, brand new as well. So if you check the date stamp on them, they're essentially brand new. So in fairness, Ross ordered them in specially for me, which was really cool too. And I would imagine um, when I'm getting my next tires, it'll probably be uh, Michelin's as well. Uh, probably be from Ross. It'll probably be the, the Pilot Road 5s for the, the phaser, uh, depending on if I still have the phaser. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But that's it for now. If you've watched, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and watch out for the the challenge at the end wait the challenge is where's the best chipper in can sail you can guess any name that you want but it's usually a shortened name for dinosaur if you're a child so yeah what's what's that leave it down in the comments uh you know i comment i love comments so do that too but yeah thanks for watching um can sail is class you should definitely come here and check it out adios